I'm Thomas Friedrich, a fisheries biologist at the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences in Vienna and project manager of the Life Skelet project. Okay, so what is a sturgeon? When you look on a sturgeon, you see quite some unique features. So you have a heterocircle tail, meaning the upper lobe of the tail fin is longer than the lower lobe. Um, you have a head with either a round or a pointed snout with the mouth sitting on the bottom of the head. And in front of the mouth, you have four barbels with taste buds, which are either closer to the mouth or closer to the tip of the snout. On the snout, you'll find two nostrils. Uh, in some cases, we have only one nostril, you can identify the fish as a fish from uh, aquaculture. Uh, very unique on the sturgeons, as you can see quite nicely on this specimen, are the bony scutes. You find one row of bony scutes along the back, two along both sides, and two on the belly. And depending on the species, you can also find smaller scutes in between the rows of the larger scutes, and you can find scutes behind the dorsal fin and along the anal fin, which is quite an important characteristic here to identify different species. The beluga sturgeon is the largest of the sturgeon species uh, and it can grow up to more than seven meters and weigh more than two tons. It's quite unique in its appearance as, as a predator it has a large mouth and the mouth is crescent shaped like a half moon uh, and reaching from one border of the snout to the other and it also doesn't extract downwards but forward and is really big. In front of the mouth we have barbels which are flat compared to round or fin braided barbels in other species. We have a conical triangular snout and in general a quite bulky appearance so the beluga is quite high in the middle of the body and way bulkier than many other sturgeon species. We have uh, medium-sized scutes uh, along the sides, in which in larger animals are overgrown uh, with skin. The coloration is from a copperish steel blue color in smaller animals with a white belly going to an almost overall silverish gray in larger individuals uh, with some uh, belugas also showing a black coloration, especially in clear water. The Danube or Russian sturgeon, Atsipenza gültensteppti, can grow up to 2.4 meters roughly and weigh up to 150 kilograms. It has a very short snout with the barbels located closer to the tip of the snout than the mouth. Uh, uh, very typical are qu the quite large lateral scutes which are lighter than the body and in many individuals it can vary quite a bit. You have a lot of small denticles between the dorsal and the lateral scute as well as the lateral and the ventral scute. Uh, the coloration is quite variable in this species, so you can have brownish, yellowish fish like you see it here, uh, but you can also find black and whitish fish or grey to yellowish fish, depending on the population and the water. The stellate sturgeon, Atsipensa stellatus, can also grow roughly up to 2 meters in length and up to 80 kilograms. It's quite unique as well as it has a very elongated thin body in general and a very long flat and elongated snout, which is longer than 60% of the head normally. Um, on this flat duckbill-like snout, 
you have the barbels located closer to the mouth than to the tip of the snout and the scutes are of white color uh, with a lot of small white scutes in between the uh, dorsal, lateral and ventral large uh, scutes. Coloration in the stellate sturgeon is always black and white, so there's no brownish types, it's always black and white. The ship sturgeon or fringe bubble sturgeon, Hatsipensa nudiventris, can grow up to roughly 2 meters in length and weigh up to 100 kilograms, and it has two unique features. One of the features is that, different to all other sturgeon species, the lower lip is not interrupted in the middle, but continuous. And the first dorsal scoot on the back is the highest point of the body, as well as it is connected with the bone of the head and not separated from the head. Um, you have a lot of quite tiny white lateral scutes on the side uh, and the coloration can range from blackish white to brown and yellowish. The snout is pointed and conical with the barbels closer to the mouth than to the tip of the snout. Uh, but the snout will grow rounder and a little bit shorter in adult specimens. The skelet, Hatsipensa rutenos, is the smallest of the Danubian sturgeons, reaching up to one meter in length and up to 16 kilograms roughly. Um, it has a pointed long snout with the fimbrated barbels sitting closer to the mouth than to the tip of the snout. The barbels are strongly fimbrated and very typical are the small lateral scutes which number quite high with over 55 lateral scutes normally being lighter than the body. The color ranges from, like in this case, light brown grayish to a darker brown coloration with either a dirty white or yellow belly and scutes. And what you always have in stellates are also the white seams along all the fins, both on, here you can see it, on the pectoral fins as well as on the caudal, dorsal and anal fin. When you compare the non-native Siberian sturgeon with the native stellet, uh, although they look quite similar, the Siberian sturgeon is a little, you could say, rougher around the edges. Uh, it has no white seams on the fins, none at all. Also, the lateral scutes do have the same color as the body and are fewer in number.